We see up in here. Yup. All right. So I'm doing a, a painting of um, Katanji Brown Jackson live on YouTube. And um, I'm also going to be painting a landscape painting. Um, Over here, I'm gonna just block in some of the some of the basic features, you know. That way, it won't be confused. So what you want to do? This is a um, acrylic paint. If anybody is wondering, that I'm hoping to see. I've been wanting to paint her for a nice little second too. I just never got around to it. Okay. So first I'm gonna block in this painting of her. And then I'm gonna block in this uh So let's go. Got my little my, my daughter here with me too, yeah. Share with her. Hold her phone. <laughs>
Can y'all see this? Yeah, they can see. They can see me? Oh. Uh, I'm going to see this. Yeah. Like this, man. It's a lot easier landscape because. landscape you're not more than likely you're not going to get it right anyway but with portraits you almost have to get it right let me see
So, while I'm blocking all of this in, a lot of this, a lot of these colors of music, I'm going to be using over here and over here, which is why I can grab um, paint from both sides. Uh, one of my pro tips that I always give people is when we painting portraits, actually when I'm painting anything representational, let me not even use the word portrait. I want to maintain light. So I see she got some green and we can just get a dab of that, dab of that, dab of that. And when I say maintain light, people are afraid to put these tones in their paintings that are there that exist, but they don't put them because they can't see them. So you'll be surprised how many greens and purples and browns are in people's faces until you learn how to paint. But again, when I say maintaining light, what I'm talking about is the bright colors. So, Now, bright, bright, bright colors will be maintained by identifying them first. We got a highlight here, we got a highlight there, we got some of a highlight there, we got the teeth, of course, but I don't have to get into the teeth yet. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but nine pearls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That we can get. We got some light here before her her um her shadow of her hair. We got some reflected light on the glasses. And we got a pearl right there. We got a nice shine. She has a big smile. We got a nice shine right there. We got the white of the eyes, and we have the white of the clothing that is pretty much I guess overbearing, overbearingly like a lot of light. So when I say I want to maintain light, I just don't want to lose my lightest colors. So if I start with that there, and I keep this same idea of flow here, these lights are a little, give me a little bit after. These lights are a little different. Let's see here. A steel twenty two. Got an excellent part of it. Record a little bit. So I want to maintain the light here as well. So So this is a little, this is not really that light there, but I'm going to note that before I lose it. So after my initial block ends, remember I said I like to maintain light. So I'm going to stay with these tones over here. 
got 20 seconds already? No. How many seconds is that? How many was it? Okay. You can do, do 10 instead. If it's going to be that. So. Go back to what you're doing. What you're doing. Um, so, to maintain these other light tones, I'm coming here. And I'm getting. Now, this is all about for me, just keeping my lightest colors. Right. That's that's really that's really what this is about. I gotta keep my light colors super bright and not lose them because you can you can lose your dark colors in my opinion. Sometimes that's a good thing. But you just losing highlights is annoying. Oh, I have a friend. She said it's seven thirty in Germany. It's probably like two something now. She said she was gonna call me. Oh, well, she. Didn't call me that two a.m. No, it's two here, but she said she was gonna call me. But she she didn't read the message yet. So I'll be painting live. That's fine. Oh yeah. Yeah, this smile is going to be key to this painting. That's really the, the heart of this painting, in my opinion, is her smile. So painters out there, <sighs> maintaining light is a super smart way to not lose your colors. That's the best way I can put that. Not lose your tones, not lose your shadows, like not lose all the important stuff. Because the darkness, sometimes, most of the time, we can usually like always, <laughs> always get it back. Light color, sometimes it's real hard to get that back. And this will all be undertones, so you don't have to worry if you're looking and thinking, like, oh, why would they scream? <laughs> Sometimes when I'm teaching people, be like, why turn this color or why turn that color? But I can tell that usually beginner type step stuff or people that don't really know much about art or paint or color. I don't say I don't know much about art, I don't know much about color. Like something like that.
Starbucks has this uh, chickpea <laughs> salt thing that I'm eating. This thing good. All right, so I can already see I'm losing some of my, my light, my way up, like my, my light early. I don't want to. But that's a good teaching moment. Because I'm about to get it all back. So we have light here from the glasses. We're not losing our light. But nothing. Okay, people, we're not losing our light colors. Sacrifice all of our darks, unless we want a dark, even if we want a dark, creepy painter, we we'll still not lose all of our light. All right, so I think now that we have a lot of light established, um, wait, let me get through this. I know we have a lot of light established. I'm going to re establish anything I've lost that I've noticed, and I noticed that I've lost this here. Lost that. Lost that. I lost that. I noticed that I lost that. So I won't lose anything too important. Okay. So since I got established over there, let me just let me just establish over there. So
This is good for value. This is what it's doing for my eyes. It's separating all those values that I see that I want to make note of. And what it could be doing for others is making it make sense. That's all I like to call it. I'm about to block you. Some of these. Purple colors. We got some of the real types of values. Mm -hmm. Values are on it. Um, you see what I didn't go with. Start with my light purple. But it's okay. It's okay. Just block in there right now. And I like to leave the edge of my portraits. I love this. stuff from the night. It's just it's not straight black. I know the camera it look, looks like that. But it's more of that purple color that's in black. And this is just strictly just to miss some value. This isn't to be Yes, 
get some value from the girl. I don't know, like, floating face portraits. I think it's lazy. Almost to do that. Yeah. It's because I think that doesn't mean it's true. The one thing about art being so subjective is just some stuff is not people cup of tea. And it's okay. It's the shadow. It's going to take a lot of blender to get that. Okay. Well, let me get some more. So I did my lights, my darks, my undertones. Now I'm going to get into more temperature. So temperature for me is what I'm painting blue and green and what I'm painting like yellow to put it simple. So I'm going to do my temperatures darks first before I get into my, my light temperatures because I've already established that I'm not losing. That I, I, I kept enough of the white, the light colors to establish that I'm not, that I can't lose them since I got a minute. So these are all. That I want to put in, and then I'm going to throw some, some green where you can see. And it's going to just make this thing tone up because you need the color of those temperatures. I'm going to go from here to the landscape painting. Do the same, which is a little easier here because everything is either blue or green, so it's a very cool temperature. Mistakes on purpose, even in light work. Don't make mistakes on purpose in life. That's how I think that's I think that's a reason for everybody. In life, you do not make mistakes. Same energy. There's an accident. Sometimes it's okay. But one of the things that I think is profound that I had told my, one of my clients before is what my grandfather said about our decision making. My grandfather passed. That everything happens for a reason. Sometimes you're the reason why it happens. Whether that be good or bad. So don't just, it was like when stuff happens, don't be quick to dismiss it saying, oh man, yeah, everything just happens for a reason. No, it takes accountability for it. You know, you play a part in this happening too. So like that was some I'm going to play with this sky a little bit because 
because I don't let go. Uh, in the beginning, so I'm about to run into those trees again. <clears throat> Teeth are, are tough because a lot of celebrities have, I'm not saying that she does, but I'm saying the reason why teeth are tough is a lot of celebrities have teeth jobs and their teeth appear like really perfect. So it makes it like easier to paint it, but not normal <laughs> because like normally you're painting somebody's teeth they're more like hers they're, it's the it's the imperfections that make the good painting and you can tell like oh i mean of course the person looking at the painting is not going to notice it but you should be able to look at it and say oh she has a little curve on this tooth right she has this, she has that. And that's what makes it good. Well, especially in terms of team.
still on my cool colors for this portrait. And I'm still working in the tone. Just get some type of that. Uh, so, lose those either. Or lose some. Or lose shadows. Yeah, that's what I want. I don't want to lose all of this. So, I'm going to get that out There we go. See how the power of maintaining light works. Once you you have all that light maintained, once you pay into it, paint and paint yourself. a lot of valuable art. So I'm going to make some marks. As I notice here, there's not that much light at all of it here. So I'm going to put my mark. And that'll mark that help me when I start putting my other values in. Instead of main, now instead of moving. We've already maintained the light. Now we can not be afraid of uh, painting to it. So we're not going to lose nothing because we already maintained it. Yeah. What I've said made sense and bringing it to full circle. What I'm about to do is I'm going to warm her up with some rounds. And then you're going to see how the light and the cools getting them out early will be brought out, brought out more when I start warming her up for her more, more of a natural Song. And we're not going to do it everywhere. We're going to do it just enough to where when I'm ready to finish, all I'm doing is blend the colors together. And then this is actually harder for me. I'm a, I'm a oil painter. So this is actually harder to do in acrylic for me, even though I'm doing it in acrylic. The method I'm, I'm using is more of a oil painter. I prefer to paint the oil. But it's, it still works. Some some sweet art. It still works for acrylic, but it's better than oil. It is a very oil painting technique. See how those browns warmed her back up. She can thank me later. Got her color back. Just that easy. We got her color. Now let's
can't get too color happy. I saw the difference that color made, but let's not overwhelm them. Put it all over the painting just because it's still in the large area. Don't get too color happy. Maintain the light. So I find it that we live in an impatient generation and they don't like these long techniques of, of painting sometimes. You know, like I get to teaching them. Oh man, but that's not this color. Or how do I get it like that? Or how do I do this? And it honestly does not seem like it until you actually start painting. But it is not very successful to just paint a painting with the colors you see and just start painting. A painting has more life when you have all those undertones and all those natural colors inside the actual painting. So people are trying to learn how to paint and they're like, oh man, what about this part? Why does this look like this? While they're in the process, that Lack of patience is not going to help you become a great artist. Now, good artists like myself are great artists. So let's be real here. Can understand why people feel that way. Because I used to feel that way. I used to be. You just can't start the painting coloring it. the colors that you see. And then you realize when you try to do it, is those colors are in the tube. And when they make those colors fresh out of the tube, let's say they make a skin tone color. In order to get from that color to this color, you don't have to do a lot of blending. And when you start learning how color operates and how color works, you realize that, oh, color has harmony. It's like they're all like in one big family. That's how it is. It's like they're all in one big family. So, start this painting on YouTube. I'm going to finish this painting on social media. Kevin Arts on Instagram. For right now, I am.